Hello students of class 7. Uh, today we are going to do the chapter Charitable Tree from your Bliss book. Uh, the two chapters that are there in your first unit syllabus are the Charitable Tree and um, the Rising Above Odds. So today we are going to do the chapter Charitable Tree. Now, first of all, uh, what is the meaning of the word charity? Charity means helping someone in need and without expecting anything in return. No monetary uh, return as such. Okay, you do it uh, for the um, sake of helping somebody from the, from the, uh, with the intention of only helping the person with the intention of only doing good to the person. Now let us see what the uh, story tells us about. I am the king of the forest, the boy would announce every day, playing under a large old mango tree. He would make a crown of its leaves. The tree loved to have the boy visit it and play on its branches. He would pretend that the mangoes were gold and he would give them as a reward to his peasants. Now, uh, there was a small boy who used to come and uh, play under this there was a large mango tree and the as a child uh, this boy would come and play under its branches and uh, he would imagine himself uh, as a king and since he imagined himself or he pretended himself to be a king uh, he would make, uh, with the help of the leaves of the mango tree, he would make a crown um, and just as a king wears a crown and then he would pluck all the mangoes uh, from the tree and then uh, give it uh, to, you know, uh, the peasants, means they, they were also imaginary ones. Um, and he would think that these mangoes were not ordinary mangoes of a tree, but they were mangoes of gold. So um, that is how the child would uh, enjoy himself playing under this tree. What happens then? Time passed. The boy grew up to be a man, but to the tree, he would always be a boy. Now, uh, the tree used to as uh, the boy used to enjoy playing uh, a king um, you know under the tree and uh, you know uh, climbing up the branches and uh, that way in the same way the tree also loved um, uh, you know this association with the boy and the tree wanted that the boy should uh, come and uh, or rather the tree waited for the boy to come and uh, play. Um, time passed, the boy grew to be a man, but to the tree he would always be a boy. Gradually, he stopped coming to the tree. The tree would wait for him every day. One day, to the tree's great delight, he saw the boy coming towards him. The boy approached and set about, um, and set about to the tree. I need money because without money I cannot marry. So uh, this boy, the small child, uh, he uh, as time passed gradually the boy grew into a man and then he did not come back to the tree. And um, but though the boy grew up to be a man, for the tr uh, tree um, this uh, uh, boy was uh, not a man but he um, the tree used to, you know, think of that uh, um, man also as a small boy he, who used to come and play um, in his childhood. So, uh, as the boy uh, grew up into a man, uh, he never uh, came back. And the tree felt very sad. The tree always waited every day for the boy to come back. But then one day the boy did came, did come back, okay, and the tree was very happy. Okay, ultimately the you know boy has come back. But uh, why did the boy come back? Because the boy wanted something from the tree. And what did uh, the boy come and tell the tree that um, you know I need some money, uh, and without money I cannot marry. What did the tree do? Take my mangoes. They are 
the very best variety. Sell them and you will have more than you require. Offer the tree. The boy quickly stripped the tree off every single mango, took them to the market and sold them. He got a handsome amount of money and he was able to get married lavishly. So, uh, the boy only came back when he needed something. Okay, so the, when, as soon as uh, the boy asked for something uh, from the tree, the tree never, you know, refused. The tree said, okay, you want money? You know, my, you know, the all my branches are full of mangoes. Take all the mangoes, sell them uh, in the market because they are the best quality. So you will get a lot of money. You will get uh, my, uh, a lot of money means more than you require. And that way you can have a very you know, uh, lavish marriage. And that is what happened. You know, the boy took off every mango that was there in the tree. That's why the word is given stripped. That is, each and every, means all the branches were, you know, empty. There were no mangoes left on any of the branches. So the boy took them, sold them in the market, got the money, and he got married and not only a marriage but a lavish marriage lavish means in a very uh, luxurious manner and you know extravagant that is spending more than that what is required because the tree already said that you will um, get more money than you require after a year he came back to the tree sullenly and complained sullenly means not in a cheerful mood in a very gloomy manner Okay, uh, for some reason he was uh, depressed, he was unhappy. There um, has been a quarrel at home and now I have to fend for myself. Fend for myself means I have to earn my own living. I need a house. Can you give me a house? So, just look at the boy's attitude. The boy uh, did not even... Uh, feel it necessary to thank the tree. The boy just took the, all of the mango, okay, every mango that was there on the branches, sold it, got married. Then when did the boy again come back? He again came back when once again he needed something. And this time what did he say? That I have um, left my house okay um i have a i have uh, means there is a there was a quarrel in my house i have left my house and now i have to fend for myself fend means i have to uh, you know uh, do something to earn a living and first of all i need a house to live in can you give me a house so what did the tree do take my strong branches and build a house for yourself and make your furniture too, said the tree lovingly. So the boy hacked down all the branches, leaving the tree with just its trunk. Slowly, the tree aged without its branches and leaves. It felt lonely and sad. It missed the boy. Now look at the attitude of the tree and look at the attitude of the boy. Once again, Whenever uh, he needed something, the boy came back. And this time he needed a house because he had a quarrel and he had left the house. He had no house because he had to earn, his, uh, earn a living for himself. Um, he um, first uh, had to have a house for himself. So when he asked the tree, the tree said, okay, you know, I have my, uh, I'm a strong tree. My branches are strong enough. Cut down, take away all my branches, cut, cut me down, make a house for yourself and not only the house, you know, I'm such a, I'm a big and strong tree. So not only you will get wood for building a house, but you will also get enough for uh, making furniture. So make some strong furniture also from your, uh, for your house. 
And what did the boy do? The thoughtless boy chopped off hat. Hat means, um, as I've given here, you know, constantly hitting the tree with heavy blows. So this boy is absolutely thoughtless. He just hacked the tree, you know, cut it till the trunk. Okay, all the branches, only that uh, trunk was left. And then um, uh, he, um, you know, took it away, built a house for himself and also got some furniture. Now, what happened to the tree? The tree without its branches and leaves, it um, gradually aged. Okay. And, but no matter how thoughtless this boy was, the tree always wanted the boy to come back. Because the tree uh, always wanted to help the boy. Always wanted to give. He never asked anything. Means the tree never wanted anything in return. Okay. Years went by. The lonely old tree often thought of the boy. No one else came to him too because he did not bear any mangoes. One day he saw the boy approaching. He had aged a bit and looked healthy and prosperous. I need a boat, he said to the tree. I want to make I want to take my family on a voyage. That is a journey by sea. I want to see something of the world. Again, for his selfish needs, the boy came back. Now, the tree had grown very old and uh, other people also did not come to the tree because the, uh, the tree did not bear any longer any uh, fruits, that is mangoes, because it was cut down uh, till the trunk. So, uh, it felt very sad and lonely and the tree always thought about the boy. And finally, one day the boy came back. And the boy said that uh, now, you know, remember uh, the boy is no longer a boy. He's a man. He had aged a bit, but he looked uh, healthy and prosperous that he, he was rich. But even though he was quite prosperous, quite, uh, you know, healthy enough, he still wanted something from the tree. And he said that, you know, I want to go with my family on a voyage. That is a journey by sea. And I need uh, to make a boat. Can you help me? Take my trunk. It's all that I have. It will make you a sound boat. Urge the tree. You need something? Okay, you need a, uh, to make a boat? Cut down my trunk. It's still strong enough. And you can make a strong boat. Please take it. The thoughtless boy took the trunk, made his boat and sailed away without even once thinking about the tree and what he had done to it. Finally, the boy, now a tired old man, all he could think of was his faithful friend, the tree. Come boy, called the tree, rest here on my stump. It makes a good seat. We can be happy together. So after that, and the boy took away the, uh, you know, cut the um, uh, tree again to the stump. That is the last bit you can see uh, the picture given in your book. And then he sailed away with his family. And finally, when the boy was a very old man, he came back to the tree. He remembered the tree. And this time he didn't want anything. He just wanted to, you know, uh, have some uh, peaceful moment. And the tree said, okay, come boy, come on my boy, sit on my stump and rest on my stump. It makes a good seat and, you know, together we can spend some uh, good time. So look at the attitude of the boy. So uh, look at the attitude of the boy and uh, look at the attitude of the tree. There is a marked difference in it. One is a charitable tree and other is a very selfish boy who is always uh, eager to take something from the tree and not even have the gratitude you know uh, not even have the gratefulness 
with no sense of gratitude. Not even thinking of wants to you know, thank the tree in return for all that he has brought. So we stop here today. We'll do the rest of the chapter the next day. Thank you.